This is Sonia. And this is her son, Kwaku. Sonia and Kwaku are white-naped mangabees, a highly endangered species of monkey that lives only in West Africa, in the forests of western Ghana, eastern Côte d'Ivoire, and parts of Burkina Faso. Sonia was illegally captured from the wild as a baby by a farmer. She later came to live at the Endangered Primate Centre, a part of the zoo here in Accra, the capital of Ghana. Sonia is one of a group of 12 white-naped mangabees that live at the centre. Like Sonia, many of them were originally kept as pets before they were rescued and brought here. Evan Zirenchi has been a primate keeper at the zoo for over 16 years and knows the zoo's mangabees extremely well. The head of the family here is Ekwau. That's the oldest among them here. That's the father of the group. And then we have Peter. Peter also over there. And then we have Lumba. Captive though they are, these mangabees may still be the lucky ones. Ghana's wild population of white-naped mangabees is under threat from hunting and destruction of their habitat. It's estimated that there are now less than 1,000 living in the wild, and those that remain are surviving in increasingly isolated fragments of forest. Due to this dramatic decline, the species has been listed by the World Conservation Union as one of the 25 most endangered primates in the world. Unless it can be protected, the white-naped mangabe is facing extinction. A group of European zoos, led by Heidelberg in Germany, decided that something had to be done to save the mangabe in the wild, along with other endangered West African species such as the Rollaway. In 2001, they formed West African Primate Conservation Action, or WAPCA. Kathy Silenga is the country coordinator for Ghana. Definitely education is key to everything we're doing because to conserve these animals in the long term we really need people who, who understand how these monkeys live, what, why they're threatened, um, why they're important, what role do they play in the ecosystem. It's not simply about the monkeys but in general about the wild forests of Ghana. Throughout the decade this has been operating in Ghana, WAPCA has worked closely with Ghana's Forestry Commission, in particular its Wildlife Division. We saw that there was a need to work together to rehabilitate some of these endangered species. As a result of using our forest for cultivation of cocoa, we have lost most of the habitat for such species. And therefore, the primary population in the country is at a very low level. WAPCA has been very strong in training our staff in the field. We still have good collaboration and I see that's a very good venture. It's a monkey. He's eating fast so he can save that food for later. At the Accra Zoo, WAPCA works with the staff, helping to educate visitors of all ages about the threats to species like the Rollaway and the Mangabe. Do you know the name of this monkey? What, what do you call it? Mangabe, very good. You're doing very well. Today, a class of zoology students is visiting from the University of Ghana. One of the students, Mavis, has been making regular visits to the zoo in order to study the behaviour of Sonia and baby Kwaku's group of mangabees. So the, the young male baby in this group, how is he getting on? Sometimes as it plays with Peter or Numba, it falls and the alpha male tries to protect it. Mavis is looking for any evidence of unusual or disturbed behaviour amongst those animals once kept as domestic pets. What I'm seeing so far in most of the mangapis, especially um, Kwiko's group, is normal behaviour. It's important that Sonia and Kwaku's group are interacting naturally as a social unit, as they have been pre-selected to take part in an ambitious project that aims to ultimately reintroduce captive mangabees back into the wild. The first step towards reintroducing this species 
is uh, a semi-free enclosure, which um, is an enclosure in their natural habitat, a much bigger area than they have here, but still fenced so that they're protected from hunters or predators coming in, but also big enough that they can forage on wild foods, climb trees, and get used to their natural habitat before, in the very long term, you can think of fully reintroducing them. If it's to succeed, the semi-free enclosure needs to be understood and supported by those living nearby. Waka has worked for many years with rural communities that border Ghana's protected forests, helping to educate local people about the need to protect not just the monkeys, but also the habitat in which they live. Princess Town is a coastal village that borders the Cape Three Points Forest Reserve, the only coastal rainforest reserve in Ghana. Today, students from the junior high school are performing a play for their peers that highlights the importance of conserving the area's natural resources. Oh, <laughs> Their play was the winning entry in a recent drama competition amongst local schools that was organized by WAPCA to get young people thinking about conservation issues where they live. The story is about two communities. One is preserving the forest, the other one are not, and the animals in the forest are dying. The reason why we did this is to encourage people to protect their forest and the animals. This is the starting waypoint code. Please remember to write the time. WAPCA has also been working with adults in the community, educating and training them to assist with research, monitoring wildlife populations in the forest reserve. WAPCA Field Projects Coordinator David Osei sees how the forest is being threatened. This whole area is farmland and then the forest boundary is on my left here, about 500 meters. 20, 30 years ago, all this place was forest. But um, people came in and bought the land for farming activities and they managed to clear the whole forest and this is how they've left it. David has been training these community members to use a global positioning system, or GPS, to log the location of animal sightings or evidence of their presence. This is a fruit um, eaten by a monkey, and I think um, it's a manga bee. Most of the time, they walk on the ground and feed on the fruit that drop from the trees, while the other monkeys are eating up on the canopy. I trained them on how to detect um, the primates and also how to use the GPS and the compass. We all work together, we spread out and we do surveys. Anytime they hear a call, um, they record it and then they try and follow the call and see if they can see the monkeys and count them. The cooperation of local communities is crucial to the conservation of the monkeys living in the forest reserve. One of the community members, Mr. Boa, had been keeping Sonia as a pet before he was convinced by Wabka that this wasn't best for her. Since moving to the endangered primate center in Accra, Sonia has mated and given birth to baby Kwaku, a strong sign that she's comfortable in her new home. 100 kilometers west of the Cape Three Points Reserve, towards the Ivorian border, lies Ankasa Conservation Area, over 500 square kilometers of pristine rainforest. For WAPCA, Ankasa offers the greatest hope for preserving Ghana's wild population of white-naped mangabees. Give me the name of a primate. I'll start from you. Chimpanzee. Monamonk. Colomot. Magabi. David runs training sessions with Ankasa field staff, teaching them to identify the endangered primates that live in the national park. Primates like the Mona, Spot Nose, Black and White Colobus, they move in multi-species groups. Who can give me one reason why all these monkeys move together? 
a B D D war, a and a B N C D D war form. Yes, for protection and for food, every monkey has a way of communicating. Yeah. Who can demonstrate how a mona monkey calls? Ah, mm. and who can demonstrate the manga bay call? Quack, 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 quack. Uh, uh, speed one. But, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -huh. You can find the Mona, Mangabe, Diana, Black and White Colobus, all of them moving together. And if we don't take care and we don't protect them well, they might go extinct. Wapka have done a lot concerning the monkeys. They have let us to know a lot about the different types of monkeys, how important of the monkeys in the forest. These field staff provide protection for the monkeys within Ancasa, but both white-naped mangabees and rollaways are known to live beyond the reserve, over the border in the forests of eastern Côte d'Ivoire. Wapka therefore works in partnership with a team of Ivorian researchers at the University of Kokodi, led by Dr. Inza Kone. Monkeys can easily cross the border, even by swimming. We are currently standing in Ghana, and behind us, you have the Tano River, and the other side of the Tano River is Cote d'Ivoire. In this area, there is a forest called the Tanwe Forest, which houses the most endangered primate species in West Africa. But the Tanwe Forest is not a protected area. It completely belongs to the communities living around the forest. That's why we've been working so far with these communities. Even if we do conservation concentrated on the peoples living in the Ivorian site, many other people living in the Ghanaian sites can easily cross the river to come hunting and to come cutting trees, things like this. So it is important that we have a collaboration with partners working in Ghana with these communities. And I think Wapka was the ideal partner for us. In the long term, conservation will only be possible if the next generation of leaders understands the importance of preserving the forests of West Africa. This is why today, Wapka is taking a group of junior high school pupils into the Ancasa forest. One after the other, you take your time. Although their school is only a few kilometers away, many of them have never been into the reserve and are learning for the first time the importance of protecting this rainforest. The children are from Amokwa, which is a village just outside of the park. The local communities around the forest are very reliant on the natural resources. What are the things that we get from the forest? The benefits we derive from the forest, yes. We get medicine. We get timber. It promotes tourism. Rainfall. She said we get rainfall. Clap for her. It's important, especially for local people to, to understand why, why is the forest here, why, why is it protected by Wildlife Division, why do we think it's important. This monkey you see here is the one we call Mangabe. It is an endangered primate like the Diana. This forest is their natural habitat. This is where they can be found. That's why we've been advocating that we have to protect the forest so that the monkeys too will be protected. The children are going to be the future leaders. They should be educated on the forest, how to keep or how to conserve it. I appreciate what the Wapka are trying to do because they are giving educations to Ghanaians through their children. Most of their parents are farmers. When they go, they are going to educate their parents on how to conserve the forest for their future. All the oxygen and others, we get them from the forest and rainfall too, we get food from the forest. So if you don't get, protect the forest, you lose all these things. Several kilometers further towards the heart of this important forest is where Kathy and David hope the semi-free enclosure will be built. The preferred area for the semi-free facility is here in Ancasa, just in the center. It's called Enquanta, and there are a number of sites within that that have been proposed as suitable. We hope to start construction within the next year. When it's completed, the semi-free enclosure will offer Sonia and the other mangabees at Accra Zoo the best chance of returning to the forests from which they were once taken. An animal that has been captive, it's very difficult to, to take them to the forest and expect them to survive on their own when they've been used to humans and used to being fed every day. So a semi-free facility is something in between. It's both allowing them to get used to the natural environment, but still giving them some level of protection. And with protection, there will be a chance to save endangered species like the Rollaway and the white-naped Mangabee from extinction.
West African Primate Conservation Action has a vital role to play in conserving these species, so that monkeys like Sonia and Kwaku have a future, not only in captivity, but also in the wild.